The government betray us so much. Oh God, they lie. Ah, the people fool us. So. The people lie to us. I say the government betray us. They can lie, they can steal, they can not to corrupt. I say we tire with their lies. We tire with the promises that let us to a lot of damages. We tire with their speech, they preach indeed, and now you need to deceive us. The thing we saw, it frustrates us. So, why they should lie? Why they should steal? Why they should lie? They the citizens don't grieve. You see, we just tell you, Ego, that why we vote you. But you fool us, you screw us, you use us and later on abuse us. So, why, why, why? The government should lie. Why, why, why? But now the question that we ask, they lie. Ah, the people fool us. They go. The people lie to us. I say the government betray us. They can lie, they can steal, they go not to corrupt. I said no one to trust. My people no one to hope on. My hope that I had, I've been broken. So where are the schools? Where are the roles? Where are the jobs that they say they could afford? But they're too selfish. <clears throat> the people tired with their rhetorics. You see, the reason why we ask why the government betray, they have enough for time, but yet then still they delay. People suffer. No work for people crying from hunger. <clears throat> you see, your vision and your mission, your intention to the nation, hey, poor, you got nothing to show. So why, why, why? The government should lie. Why, why, why? But that the question that we ask, they lie. Ah, the people fool us. The people lie to us. I say the government betray us. They can lie, they can steal, they could not to corrupt. I say they lie. Ah, the people fool us. So. The people lie to us. I say the government betray us. They can lie, they can steal, they go not to corrupt. Hey, go. That's what's up. <laughs> that particular incident that actually inspired you to write this song? Uh, this is a Denegal song. Mm, you won't believe the time I wrote this song during the Ebola period. And when Ebola was very kind of hard in Liberia, I wrote this song. <clears throat> and then at the time, all my fans and friends were like, Oh, Taku, you know, we oh, Taku, you know, want to do anything. You know, all my couple of the like, like, librarian artists doing a uh, 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 Ebola song, but I, I'm not 100% I'm not, I'm not into it. Although I was like, you know, talking about it alongside some interview along with the president and all of the dignitaries. You know, I talk about it, but my main focus was after Ebola, what's going to happen next to the people? You know, they, they, Ebola will come and do its stuff and leave. And then tomorrow we're going to be in the country, but we're going to still be living this kind of situation that the founder set in before Ebola came. So my expectation was beyond the Ebola situation, although it was sad, it happened in our country, but it was the time that I wrote the song. So imagine in a kind of a hard crisis of different issues, but the hard racing of different issues. So it's like, it was issue into issue. <laughs> but you know, uh, 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 that's how I got inspired, you know, to write a song, you know, during the Ebola period. So I was like, oh, uh, alone. You know, trying to make way to make sure things will work out in the best way for my side. So making a song like this affect your ability to 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 make money in in in, in the sense that you you might be a little bit less um, attractive as an option for uh, a large company to uh, sign on to, or maybe for the government to say maybe we're done with you as our anti rip ambassador now because you criticizing us. Well, actually, I would say that, <clears throat> you know, it's not because I was called to be a hunter Rebbe ambassador for the Republic of Liberia, China Ministry, besides. So because, am I working with the government, so, and I noticed, noticed there is some lapses that I can't talk about, that I think within myself, God going to hold me responsible for that. 
we can work together. If I see if I see things is not getting in place, it's my bond responsibility because for me, I think I'm destined to, to see the reality. So and then there was no problem, you know. You know, after I did the song, my ambassadorship still stands. I think couple, you know, I think couple of time I I, I went on a president union program or <clears throat> what I had my <clears throat> my minister there. And then I talk and I turn around. So minister, the people say they take the ambassadorship for me. I chew all a lot. He said, no, no, I chew. Said, you know, but there's no kind of a not talking anything because I'm part of the government. No, it's not all about that. <clears throat> but it's all about where librarians are going to live tomorrow, how they're going to accept the reality that comes for everybody. And pertaining to my contract, to my deal, I mean, my people don't have problem with me because I think like, I'm speaking for the people because if I'm like 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 I'm with Room Star Cell right now, right? Uh, I got a strong deal with them and, and some other business partners too. And then if I don't speak the right message out there, and then tomorrow who's gonna start struggle with these companies that I'm ruling with? Because the citizen not satisfied, there's, there's no nothing coming in the system. So it's like as I said, it's an issue in the issue. So it's like uh, I, I, I deal with the issue on a different note, but my people don't have a problem with that because it's a different note that we have and it's a different contract we got. But the contract that is just state that I have to silence my people because they gave me SYC. I have to keep short because they put me in a nice apartment. No, 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 no. But my relationship with my partners are absolutely brilliant and perfect. There's no problem. Now I'm going to move on to some rumors <laughs> that we've been hearing about you. So, we heard you ran away to Ghana after you made a song. <laughs> I know you heard that one too, so, um, I would, what's the truth to that? Uh, well, I would, I would like to ask, what for? What am I going to run away for? You're scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'm telling you something, I'm not scared. So, it's like, uh, I'm not deterred at all. So, what am I going to run away for? I didn't run away. I was here, running my own thing. But because a man have to be security minded when you hear, you know, they got a Bible saying, when the Christian mention you're telling you, you got a rock already. You understand? <laughs> so mm, when the Romans going around, so, oh, Takunji going to jail, oh, the Takunji have a runaway because he did music, I was kind of a little skeptical and scared, my little greedy, my sense too, and how to take first aid and first precaution. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I didn't run away, but I was like backing up in my crib, uh, where I took my little <laughs> strong that I had, my basement, and then just keep being silent. And then, making sure not to find myself into any kind of predicament with, every, with, with anybody. Obviously, the song, the song, the song, the song sounds very irritating to any, anybody who in the government and stuff like that, then you want to retaliate. But since then, I've been hearing the rumors, but nobody has come to me, just like, okay, you are going to arrest, blah, 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 blah. But I've been living my life. What are your hopes for Liberia? What are your dreams for Liberia? Maybe the next year, next two years, next five years? Um, in the new, near future, where do you want to see um, Liberia? I want to see Liberia. It's so much far that my expectation is so beyond. It's, it's just big, big and big and bigger than how I want Liberia to be tomorrow when it comes to music, entertainment wise. Because we got a lot of skills and talents that are dying in this country. You know what I'm saying? If it wouldn't have been for, for God and then some of us who have been so strong in the music business, my career, you guys gonna be having an interview with me now. And I mean, nobody gonna know Takun J today because talents, talents are wasting so much. Until now, like, I feel I wanna have my own way. You know, and if I have my way, these are things I wanna do. You know, make sure spark talents, I even wanna have a stuff like knowing and discovering talents. Take people from everywhere who do have talent, then nurture it, put it on the on a showcase on the platform so people can pass and buy it like a Nigerian man making business that they can make it so exclusive to their stay you, you money you gotta get it so are we, we I mean we need to promote our art and cultures in this country I think this is what gonna really build up Liberia entertainment wise and then we find a lot of youth right now and a lot of youth are, they are all talented you know sometimes I, I gotta say about my son right my first son you know Every day in my ear, oh daddy, I want to play football, I want to learn, I want to learn to play football, and I can laugh at him, I say, but you're not showing me the corridor that you want to play ball. You know, at least when you come from school, when I ask, when I ask, where is Derek? Oh, the man going to run away, he's going to play football, then I know like he's so eager to do that because 
You're not even showing it to me because where? Why? They don't have no place. Sure. They don't have nowhere to go exhibit and skills and talent. So because of that, you're dying. At the end of the day, when I come in, like, like, when I enter in the house, then I see my son in the corridor playing football. <laughs> You're not supposed to be playing football in the corridor. They should be having an you know, academy. They should be having every that we can see our skills and talent to be exhibit. But there's no way, but man, in, in, the, in the future to come, this is where I want for Liberia to go. Musically, the spark talents of. I think that's going to be the best thing ever in Liberia. Since you've been to the industry? Yeah, one of my happiest moments, to be real with you guys. It's my very first time when I have my hip festival. Because first of all, it can't ever in Liberia. That's one of my very happy God, my dream. I said, hey, God, help me. They my hip festival. What I want to do, they come to reality. And the very first time I did it, oh, man, they cried. I came, I was so excited on the stage. I cried. You got to feel my dream of coming to reality. That's one of my life, the movement right there. You got to feel that one of my goal coming to reality. And I know I got much more goals to come to reality. I'm on your, your fellow addicts. <laughs> I say he way high in the but I say, well, I'm a big brother though. I feel as I, I see myself like a like a like a like a bigger guy in the game that I'm not just there because I'm the older man in the game, but I'm also there to share the knowledge with other people. I take myself as a Iwe, the Nigerian called it. I take myself as a real tycoon. You know, that's what that name stands for. That JC Malama Jonathan. But the tycoon is like a big brother of the older man into something that been knowing much more about history and we don't want to create the whole hip-hop you know, revolution stuff. So I, I know myself to be like an inspiration to the other. Ambassador, um, but there is more to singing songs uh, against rape than being a, uh, to being an anti rape ambassador. Have you been, what have you been doing in terms of, have you been meeting with uh, victims, um, uh, dealing with, uh, talking to ministers about specific issues that are affecting um, women, especially when it comes to um, the proliferation of rape uh, in Liberia. Because recently we've been seeing a lot of uh, gang rapes that have been occurring, especially after uh, Ebola season went down, then we the, the rapes came back on the rise. So what specific things have you been doing besides uh, your music um, about uh, to, to fight rape? <clears throat> A lot of things, you know. I like this song, David Melmere. You will carry my load. I'm carrying the load of like doing musically. Let's be real, because I'm not. I'm not just only making the song on the uh, negative side, like always <clears throat> talking about the government. No, 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 no. It's not all about that. Before I could even become anti rebel and, 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 and ambassador to people like Liberia General Ministry, I have like I advocated, and I'm still advocating for for uh, uh, people right now, like what I did two songs like Song for Hawa and Where You At. You know, the Song for Hawa was like a little girl that was in the interior and then took from the interior because of her shit and poverty. So she came in town to live with one of her uncle and then because of circumstances her mother was ill and her mother died and her father died so the both of them died and then she had nobody to live with and she came in town to live with one of her uncle and the uncle trying to use that me because he's supporting the little girl and then want to harass and torment her life. That's one of the issues that I spoke about and then Another one uh, uh, called Where You At, which I went to the home where I see I saw the women was, was I mean, the, 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 the women that was raped, I saw them, I felt very pity, and then and I saw them, I created a story called Where You At, and like, where you at, all oh, my ladies, where you at, keep your head on high, don't let it pass, take you back, where you at, all the men and where you at, you're hurting only women and you're not, you're not right, you're not right, it's like, when I heard the situation and then I put it in the shoes, like, okay, I'm gonna do this song, but I'm gonna put another female on this track, which I have to put a little called Peaches on this track called Where You At. And then this two songs that I did, I did it for the NGO called Media in Park and uh, international partners, and then shoot my effort, and then the general ministry in the Republic of Liberia, they decided to till and look after my work. And then I had to start seeing all this kind of work that I've been doing, people pleading on behalf, that's how. One of the reasons how I, I was given anti rape ambassadorship for that. So I've been playing an important role and I'm still playing a role. And then my, my, my other role that I think is very hard for me, but I'm still taking it. When I be, the very first day that I was announced as the anti rape ambassador, my man, my phone couldn't rest. Telephone call can stop because I live in a vicinity where I got a lot of people around. You know. People always call him a normal talk on to you, oh, oh, knock him out, oh, somebody just go, hey, bring my door, oh, oh, pick him. I gotta send it over and then, and then now under that, sometimes when I'm in the street, 
Because most often I take my time to be in the street, most often to see how people feel. I don't just take it upon myself to be home, but I go all day to see how people feel also. And then hearing some people screaming in the bar, girls, ah! like one other night, one girl, girl was crying, so I finished building. I got up on my car. And then luckily for me, I had my Timberlands on my, my boots. So, and then I don't know how I did that, but I pretend like a hero. I step into the scene. <laughs> I be real with you, I tell you, I say, I'm, I'm carrying the load for Liberia, you know, musically. I stepped the zinc and then it bust automatically. I saw this guy putting a can of water on this girl just to rip her. I be real with you. And then wasting a can of water on her. I went there, the man, because if my first target was to save the girl. And you know, no matter how they get the guy, whatsoever, but I gotta make sure the girl is safe. In the process of saving the girl, he disappeared, he ran away. And then I take a lot of burning every day in the street for my people. And you know, so I've been playing a most important role, and I'm still playing a role when it comes to anti redeeming in my country. And I know the president here. What is it? Who need the lives of all you guys know, but you don't tell me, you, you're not talking about justice, why I got every snow in it. You know what I got it on the, 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 the honorable man in it. Mm -hmm. So let's go back asking this question about justice. Justice. Justice is all about justice. And then we found out that in Liberia, you can't get your justice when you're broke. You're poor, you're a green army, you're a prostitute, you're a rogue, you're not going to get justice, and it's not supposed to be like that. And you understand? I'm speaking on this issue because I was, I was, uh, I was harassed, I was uh, beaten by one of our lawmakers in Liberia. So, and then, I tried playing the case, it couldn't, it couldn't so, go. To, to stop you there, what brought the case between you and Snow? Absolutely, thank you very much. An accident. But unfortunately, the accident didn't occur. And like, I was coming, he was going, and then, but we didn't crash. And then I, I went out on my way, and he's on his way. But all of a sudden, I saw this identical car that we almost crashed, turned around, running, telling me. And then this car told me, and I was like, who is this? But when he came in front of my car, when I saw the plate, I said, oh yes, that's an honorable man. I should be relaxed when I, mean, when, when I see my honorable people. So I felt relaxed, comfortably in my seat. I didn't take my seat belt out, and I was in the car with my manager. And my manager happened to be a foreigner. And then, when he got out of the car, then I was like, oh, manager, be cool. I know everything's gonna be okay because that's an a, 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 a honorable man. And the moment he came out of his car, when I saw him, I identified him. And then he came to my car, but like, my young man, you want to kill me? I'm like, how do you mean I want to kill you? So what am I supposed to say, you want to kill me too? Because I'm going to crash on one another. And then he got automatically upset Why I have to say that. Bang! In my mouth, while I'm still sitting in my car. And you understand? And then now, people look at the music in Liberia to be like, People just want to have boo for nothing guys want to get the trust to the board, want to plot their hair, want to get drill out here in the ear so they are boo for nothing. So when the incident happened, you know, I was just touched by God first. And then two, I'm like, I'm not gonna retaliate. So I want to let him know that the post I mean the the, the the individual that you lay hands on tomorrow the public gonna know about it. Then the moment when I call my name Takun J, you were like like he jet, you know, you know. And then he kept on moving, you were like, ah, Go in your car, and then the next day I took I took the case out to the, to, to the police. I didn't go to no depot. I didn't go to no substation. I went to the headquarters. You know, and then when I registered the case, <clears throat> and then I started forging my case, and then people I went on the radio, and then he called trying to deny the allegation. And later on, he attested to it again, and then so it was kind of a little different within that movement. People thought. The story that I, I'm explaining here, people thought that I was going to be so arrogant. But, and then automatically it changed. I took his attitude and then he took mine. <laughs> That's how it was just thought it turned out to be. Because a lawmaker, an honorable man, not supposed to be that arrogant. Not supposed to take the law into their hands. Not supposed to be there to step on somebody, that how we call it. Absolutely, that what happened. And then, I could rush on him, I could hit him, I could do my you know, lit skills and ability that I do have. But, and you know, I'm like, yo, come on, I can't do that right now. Let me forget about it. Let me take it to the, 
to the real issues. And then what I wanted, what I wanted to be real with you guys on my camera, guys, right now. What I wanted is like, oh, I'm sorry, I make an error. Oh, I didn't know. Even even it was you. About I just kind of like disturbed. I'm sorry. But the first allegation he denied, and then he didn't want to be held accountable. You know what I'm saying? So it started stretching, going up to the point that I plead my case. The story is so long. I don't want to go into you know, a long case. I plead my case, but it cannot work because why? I'm a musician. I'm broke. I'm a musician. I've been counted in a society good for nothing. And at that time, I have not received my my my, my ambassadorship yet. It was always it was already on the way. So it's like, I'm like, what is this? Am I supposed to let this go free? And then after abusing me publicly, and then he came out like, oh, my baby, I'm sorry, let's forget about it, blah, blah. You, do you think I'm supposed to forget about it after abusing me publicly? After not acknowledging me? So that way I found a problem. And then I decided to hold you accountable. And then he was like, okay, yeah, we're ready to go to court. But now in the process now, we can't go because why? He's, um, he's on. Um, Giant on his own side among his guys, and then everybody like my man. Forget about it. That your people like, and he say sorry. Oh yes, he say sorry. But tomorrow you're gonna punch another person mouth and say sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, he say sorry. It may not be Tagunje tomorrow. It may be some other local person who will just beat that person and walk away. Because you know what he told me after that night, after hitting me, you know, like I'm gonna call my security again to beat you and put you in jail. <laughs> and now you know something like that. Ish, ish, allow. I did my own my head day. It. it can't happen. So and I begin to forge the case. And then I try, 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 but, it, but justice cannot prevail. What I can do on my own way is a right. And I had did this song called Justice. And I feature a uh, little Murphy on the track. She in the state right now. You know, justice cannot prevail when you broke. And but I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a first line on that justice song, right? Justice, justice. Mama eh, mama eh, mama eh. Justice, justice. But Hannah knows that. Hannah knows that. Knows that. I look in the view. I hope to see my country better. Eba Goba Loba is the message that we offer. Equal right and justice, but my people still suffer. Using the power to satisfy their desire. Injustice is all what we can see. You fighting for your justice, but when you open to the speed. Because of that, then the common people suffer. The people say not even happy with the lawmakers. Lawmakers, they are the lawbreakers. Should he go free because he's a lawmaker? No penalty for the mm. representative. He can cause any problems and work with impunity. I say, so where is the justice? They say justice for all and justice for everybody. But once you got no money and your justice gonna be buried, just lie to us. So where is the justice? I say we tire with the lies. We tire with the promises. Deceive us. The thing we saw, he frustrate us. Why did she lie? Why did she see? Why did she lie? They say this things to grief. You see, we just tell you that why we voted you. But you fool us, you screw us, you use us and later on abuse us. So why, why, why? The government should lie. Why, why, why? But that the question that we ask, they lie. Ah, the people fool us. The people lie to us. I said, why will men betray us? They can lie, they can steal, they go not to corrupt. I said, no one to trust. My people, no one to hope on. My hope that I have, have been broken. So, where are the schools? Where are the roads? Where are the jobs that they say they could wear for? But they're too selfish. The people tired with their rhetoric. You see, the reason why we ask why the government betray, they have enough of time, but yet they stay, they delay people suffer. No war for people crying for hunger. Hey go. Your vision and your mission, your intention to their nation, hey po. You got nothing to show. <laughs> so why, why, why? The government should lie. Why, why, why? But that the question now we ask, and this question has been asked, nobody can answer this question. Mm. So I leave you where you are, man. One love, bigger respect, love, my friends, so friends.